today we will discuss about real numbers before going through the chapter let me discuss about what is composite number what is prime number you can say what is a composite number composite number means what a number which have only which have a number which have more than two factors more than two factors is a composite number the number which have more than two factors is called a composite number for example you can say six six what are the factors of six factors are one six two three so it is more than two factors in shape so six is a composite number what is a prime number prime number is it have only two factors it have only two factors for example two three five what are the factors of two two and one factors three three and one factors five five and one it means itself and one are factors so the number which have only two factor is called prime number and the number which have more than two factor is called composite number then there is a theorem that is called your fundamental theorem arithmetic fundamental theorem of arithmetic it says every positive integer is either prime or it can be expressed as a product of prime every positive integer is either prime or product of prime integers prime integers Every positive integer is either prime or product of prime integers. This fundamental theorem. For example, eight two into two into two into one. So it is two power three into one. And twelve two into two into three into one. Two power two into three into one. Like this. And now, what is what is the meaning of a divides b another is a is divided by b two concepts two terms are there a divides b another a is divided by a divides b means b upon a you will get a whole number that means if you divide b by a the remainder becomes zero now a is divided by b means a upon b both are not same reciprocal okay so a divides b is b by a whereas a is divided by b or a is divisible by b means a upon b in the both the cases the remainder is zero but what is the dividend and what is your divisor now if b by a your whole number suppose that is your t you can write b is equal to t okay as we have discussed a divides b means b upon a right and the remainder is zero suppose you are getting t after dividing b by a we are getting t so you can write b by a is equal to t so b is equal to a t 
Similarly, here can we also write suppose a by b is equal to q, then a is equal to b q we can write. Clear? Now, just I want to recall about the division process that we have learned in lower classes. For example, suppose you are going to divide 19 by 2. So 2 9s are 18, 1. This 9 is called what? Is cosec. And 19 is dividend. 2 is divisor. And 1 is remainder. So, dividend is equal to divisor multiply with quotient and remainder. So, if dividend is represented as A, divisor is B, quotient is by Q and remainder is by R, then you can say A is equal to B into Q plus R. Now what is this R? This R is always greater than 0 and always greater or equal you can say our R is equal to R is always less than B. So by combine you can say 0 is less or equal to R is less than B. These things we have discussed in lower classes. Now, if we will discuss about Euclid division lemma. What is this lemma says? This is this lemma says and b be two positive integers a and b be two positive integers then there exists unique at the single integer q and r such that a is equal to bq plus r where r 0 is less than equal to r is less than b. What you learned in lower classes that we have discussed here a equal to bq plus r where 0 is less than equal to r is less than b is the just a simple thing that we have discussed in lower class. Now we are discussing as Euclid division lemma the same concept a is equal to bq plus r where 0 less than equal to r less than b. Now, it is for positive integers, equally division lemma for positive integers, further it is extended, okay, extended up to all integers, extended up to all integers, earlier it was for positive integers, now it is for all integers. So the lemma, a little bit modification will get a is equal to bq plus r where 0 is less than equal to r is less than modulus b. Now, a positive integer is divided by 2. Then what can we say? A positive integer is divided by 2 means a is equal to 2q plus r where r is less than equal to r is less than 2 so r may be 0 r may be 1 so you will get a equal to 2q or a is equal to 2q plus 1 this indicates a positive integer may be even 
and when r equal to 0 and the progeny integer may be other than even that means other than even integer means or integer so an integer can be expressed in the form of 2q or 2q plus 1 homework this is for exercise 1.1 you can go to the exercise 1.1 of your and see your book